Welcome to Oodaloo Channel today. Today is Wednesday, May 6th. <laughs> Welcome to Uzulu Channel. Today is May 15th, 2019. And today we're going to be doing some uh, videos on this Jeep. My cousin's Jeep right here. It's, it's filthy. We're going to we're gonna test out two products for the interior. And what, what it was is someone made a comment on my Jack Wax Total Interior. And they wanted me to see if I can do a comparison of Adam's Posh's interior detailer. And we're going to be cleaning this uh, Jeep up with these two products and then I'll vacuum it and then we're gonna do some washing videos also look how dirty it is if you guys can see that and what it is first I'm gonna blow the uh with the vacuum I'm gonna blow the dust off and then I'm gonna try to do half and half so let's say we'll go half here I'll put a piece of tape or a string and then we'll do we'll do half and half and then um and then we'll get to it. Now the Jax Wax Total Cleaner, it's pretty much, you can use it on anything. It's all clean multiple surfaces, interiors with ease, strong enough to attack stubborn stains, and gentle enough to be used on any surface of your interior. Works great on leather seats, door panel dashes, console steel plates, steering wheels, and vinyl and plastic surfaces. And this is basically too, it, uh, it's an odor, helps with odor also, basically, you can spray on uh, your Microsoft towel and then wipe it in. And sometimes if it's real bad, I might wipe it off, you know, spray it on the uh, surface and let it sit. And this is safe for uh, leather. We can even try it on these seats. Both products. We'll see on this one. Adam's interior detailer is your one-step solution for a clean, dressed, and factory-looking interior. This is an all-in-one cleaner also. And keeping it, this basically keeps a factory look. And me, when I use the Jack Wax, I'll have the link above if you want to check that video on my uh, Fusion. And it basically gives you a kind of a same appearance as, as a, a st stock factory look. And this has UV blockers, agents that said use on dash, door panels, shifters, leather seats. Also moves light dirt, fingerprints, smudges, and dirt. And it doesn't attract dust. So basically it up and I believe you can use this on your cluster panel too I believe both products will try it I'm pretty sure all right let me get set up and then we'll uh, get to going and getting this Jeep clean okay here we go this what we're gonna do is driver side we'll do jack what Jack's wax I'll try to make this video as short as possible I got some tape just to help out and passenger size we'll do the interior cleaner and then we can try try them on the, the cluster but it's pretty hit so I think I'm gonna be busy all right so basically we're gonna be shaking this up I pretty much don't do comparison videos all right so I have to get a little bit better at trying to do comparison videos spray it on your Microsoft towel for Jack's wax and then We'll check it out. See how well we can get this thing cleaned up. Jack Wax has a nice smell to it too. Cause I can't pick up the scent though. It does have a nice scent. Check it out. I'm not gonna film like cleaning the whole thing. We'll just do little clips. Sorry to jump you around. Alright. Okay, let me. I'll do this and then we'll finish that side with Jack's Wax. This side I mean with the Adams. I found a, a dirty interior to really clean these off. I tried to blow it out with the air, the dust, but it wouldn't move. Sorry. That's been cleaning up pretty good at Jack Wax. I mean, it's looking like I don't even have to go over it twice. I miss a couple spots, but look at that. Let's see, it's got a spot right there. We got a kid. Some people don't like to spray on 
the surface, but sometimes, man, it's the only way to get it. It's not like you're not flattering the windows. I don't know what that is. Alright, let me spray that on there and let it sit for a minute. Let it get the rest. Alright, check that out. Too also you can take one of these horse brushes right here pretty good you get them at Amazon spray it in here and you can use this to get some of those spots and then you can foam it up and really get in here you see that you can really get in here to clean up and this is the jacks wax and this probably be the best bet to clean this interior with this Whatever's on there, it just will not come off. I might have to get a my get one of my uh, brushes. This video comes out, and then wipe it off. As you can see so far, once it flashes. There you go. And then the brushes can get, you know, all in these cracks here. You have to worry about using a lot of product. Let's bring some more. Just be careful for electronics. Wipe it off. Look at that. We can see the results already. Oops. There we go. That's jet wax. Of course, we can work it a little bit more and get it nice and a lot better. See how that looks. So far, I might have to wipe this a little bit more. All right, I'll continue. Let me get set up and we'll do start on this side. We'll do the interior cleaner and then we'll get this whole thing cleaned and then we'll see what it looks like. I'll do this whole side with the interior cleaner, will look like it. And then I'll have him pick which one he wants to do finish off the vehicle because we got all that. Well, hang on while we're here, let's get some of this. And this is the best thing too instead of just going to rags because this thing's hit. And cousin's getting a free detail. That's alright. He hooks me up. He lives across the street. He always get, grabs my packages when I need to before the wife gets home. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about, don't you? <laughs> He's watching me work too. But I'm going to put him to work in a minute. Once we get some of this video coverage done. But, man, this stuff's cutting it pretty good. I got some spray on here. Yeah, it's kind of hard to hold the camera. Got a little bit of spray when I was spraying the thing, but yeah, look at that. Boom, all right. I'll do that other half with uh, Adams, and then we'll do that half. I'm going to get another brush by the Adams interior detailer on this side I never used it so same thing we're gonna start off with the cloth and then I got a clean brush right here another one there's my other one we'll have to clean them when I'm all done I need to order a couple more so I have one I got used for wheels I got it shook it up I got it off I think it's gonna look good when I'm done with it I'm gonna have to Put a little bit of work. That's right, huh? Put yep. you to work. Get yep. this thing looking clean. Yep. Need then he'll trash it. Then we can test more stuff on it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's see if this makes a different look. It's cleaning it pretty good. Yeah, look at that. 
They came out a lot pretty nice. So far it looks like the Adams does give it a little bit of a Yeah, it gives it more of a factory look, maybe. My tape. That's really bad. That's a texture surface. I'm gonna have to really get in there with a brush. doesn't rain it's supposed to rain today too of course it's finally getting warm out and then they're calling for rain today yeah if you guys used any of the products you guys have any tips for us for everybody you know make the comment below and that will help us out there you go we'll let it flash and then i'll we'll spray this and then we'll do this side and kind of look make it looks like and we'll go all the way to here and it looks like it and then I can come back and I clean that a little bit and we'll see how well that cleans up. I'm, I'm pretty sure the, they'll, they'll work out pretty good. Because right now they're both cutting the dirt pretty well. Alright. Alright, soak up the atoms. Let's go. Ooh, it's watery. You guys can get it. A nice look. Should have did that on the other one. You can use a brush like this. You can even use a toothbrush if you wanted to. An old toothbrush or buy it. If you go to a dentist and ask for an extra one. Sometimes I do. Make sure you get the soft. And you can do this stuff with the toothbrush also. Like a little bit goes a long way. Yeah, let's spray some more on there and get this. Take long in a flash. It seems like for the atoms, I can't pick up the smell either. I'm gonna have my cousin smell it. Hey, smell this and tell me what you think that smells like. That's the Jack Jack wax. What do you think it smells like? Um, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know either. Not picking it up. I don't know. I can't pick up the scent. And I can't. Yeah, I'm not sure. We need a. We need someone that's in the uh, cologne and stuff like that to maybe smell it, and then they can tell us what they think it smells like. I don't know. There's a guy channel that watches us, Benjamin. He's uh in Michigan, and he does fabric videos on men's clothing and. And what else? Shoes and uh, stuff like that. Cologne. So it'll be a shout out for Ben. Benjamin. I'll have his link out below. Because I'm going to start throwing these little shout outs in some of my videos. He usually comments. Not on all of them. But he's a local Michigan guy. And why not? Dogs are barking. Alright. That's the half so far. I'm not done cleaning as you can see. But um. I can't make a whole video of cleaning this whole thing. It's going to take about an hour. So right there is comparison. We got uh, Adam's Polish interior detailer on this side. This right here is done. This is not. This is done except for in the middle where the tape's at. You guys can see. And then pretty much down here halfway. Except for you know that. I got to get this a little bit more. But that's pretty much it. Almost halfway down. I still got to go over a couple more spots. I gotta shut that clean. I forgot to clean that. But, there you 
get that there. So that's pretty much jack and wax. True. Into your detailer. You guys tell me what you think. Uh, let me look. They kind of both look the same. I think the jack wax gives a little bit more of a little bit more of a shine. I don't know. Let me see. You guys tell me. I think the jack wax gives a little bit more shine. It's still streaking. I still got to go over this. I'll be going through some Microsoft towels. I think the Adam streaks a little bit more. It's gonna have to let it flash or buff it in, which is fine. Uh, that's it. You guys tell me what you think. I think they're pretty close, actually. I think the Jack Swax maybe gives a little bit more, a little bit more of a shine, and then Adam's interior detailer gives more of a factory look. And which one do you want to go with to finish the car? It's up to you. It's your car. I mean, what do you, what do you suggest, Mr. Steve? I don't, know. I don't know. You tell me. You're the expert. No. This is your channel, buddy. You tell me. <laughs> and Adams. Adams. Yep. What do you think? I think it looks better. That's do it. you? It's way better. Do you like the Adams yeah. better? All right. So basically, we'll treat my cousin as a customer. He's picking uh, Adams. So we're going to finish off the Adams. And then we'll take a look at uh, the rest of the vehicle. But before the vehicle ends, I will try both products out on the seats and see how uh, they will do so let me uh, get the vacuuming getting this cleaned up and vacuuming and then we'll do the seats we'll um, we'll do the driver's seat with the jack wax we'll keep the driver's side and then we'll finish off the atoms with this and we'll look at the seats so I got a lot of work to do I'm gonna be going through some towels all right guys <laughs> keep watching the Adams on this car after that the comparison video you guys tell me what look now we didn't go for a hundred percent we got it pretty pretty decent and it does you know need to wipe it in a little bit i mean they cleaned it up pretty good as you guys can see we got a couple more spots to get for them but uh, it was pretty dirty as you guys can see we got a lot of cleaning to do still and then we'll do the seats and then we got that here and it does give it a factory look i mean it, pretty, it cleans it pretty good. You know. Right there. What you're going to see too. You're going to see a lot of the scuffs too. You're not going to get all the scuffs out. And the plastic. It's the only bad thing about this hard plastic. They put in these cars. Once you get the scuffs on them. You're not getting them out. But you guys tell me what you think. Looks alright. I got a little bit more cleaning to do in here. We'll get the seats. Well, let's compare the seats right here. How about we'll do this instead of doing the whole seat? We'll do we'll do this top, this one right here. We'll do Jack's wax, and then right here we're gonna do Adams. All right, I got me a fresh towel from Adams right here, and then let me get situated. Situated. We'll spray it in the towel and see how the seats look with the Jack's wax and the Adams. I'm sure you can use a interior brush too to really get in there, almost like a leather. But that's cleaning up pretty good. Yeah, the interior looks clean few spots that need to be flashed out I go over it clean the interior is not my specialty that's for sure <laughs> it's just it's a lot to clean especially when it's the way it is so okay it sprayed some on the, the atoms they pretty much look the same in the products flash but to me they look the same you can see where it does clean it from here see it's not as shiny I gotta get in here a little bit here there we go I think I'll do the seats with the uh, I'll finish off with the jacks wax and all the seats for them and right there's how much product I use there we go 
I'll continue to get a little bit more done up for them, but that's it. They look pretty much the same right there. You guys tell me what you think in the comments right there. So, And tell me what you think of this comparison videos. Pretty much, I really don't do a lot of comparison videos. So if, uh, if you guys have any ideas how to do it, let me know. Um, I don't like doing comparison videos on hoods and stuff like that. I, uh, you know, we're going to throw chemicals after you put a wax on there. I'm not going to do something like that. I'd rather do a comparison. Maybe put the products on the, on the hood half and half and drive it around for a few, couple weeks on my uh, everyday vehicle. And then see how, to, uh, how it lasts in, you know, the environment and industrial environment and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, that's it. That's what it looks like, guys. Hopefully, I did a good job on it. I got a few more spots I got I missed. Get the seats done. And then I'll do some. I'll show the seats done. And then that's pretty much. Then I'll go over the products. And that's it. I'm done now. Check it out. Did the seats. I'm going to. I did the seats with Jet Wax. Clean them up real good. Well, the best I could for right now. Um, I'm going to go over might go over a little bit and then i'm going to continue making videos but pretty much that's it you guys let me know what product you like right there so that's it right there for those products yep first time here we do videos we test products out we do car show videos detroit auto show um classic car shows around the detroit area test out detailed products like i said and we might throw in some um auto repair on our vehicles so yeah first time here Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and like. And thanks for all my subscribers, new subscribers. And I appreciate it, all you guys taking time and watching these videos and supporting us. Um, thanks. So, uh, yep, you guys let me know what it looks like. All right, there, got the seats done. Look, come out pretty good. And then I'll be having a next video. We're going to wash it. And then I'm going to put a conditioner on these leather seats for them from Shinies. And we're going to use shiny soap to wash her up. I haven't decided yet what we're going to do for the wheels. All right. So you guys have a great one later.